How are you guys doing? Dr. Nana here again. On today's episode, I just want to continue to create awareness. Creating awareness is important and it's powerful. And it's also essential to recognize that the impact of our beliefs, our beliefs. Today we're going to be talking about our beliefs and what we should do as humans to help others, right? I know the reason why I talk so much about these beliefs is because we as Nigerians or as a people, people who truly believe there's a certain way they behave. I have my own beliefs, right? But in this context, religious belief on individuals, lives, can vary significantly depending on the factors or your interpretation or the teachings from the person you are looking up to as a pastor or that traditional ruler and your personal experiences, right? Some individuals may find that comforting listening to your religious leader in whatever form or however they say it, right? But self-awareness help all of us to understand ourselves better. It allows us to recognize our strengths, weakness, emotions, and behavior leading to personal growth and development. So you must not shy away from learning new things or opening your mind to hear new ideas. So on today's episode, there are things that I will be sharing with you, some videos, clips that I will share with you. You, 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 you. I think many people will wonder that if something like this can really happen. Yes, things like this are happening. So, and that's why we are going to be watching this video. I probably put that video again. This is like a pastor raised his leg or put his leg on the wall. On a wall and the members are crawling underneath his leg. How do you explain that? What type of belief is that? What type of belief is that? What type of cleansing is that? I dare you, that is not Nigerian. But it may happen. And that's the reason why we are sharing this video. What, which God we ask that pastor to do that, to humiliate the members like that? So awareness is very, very important. And that's what I'm doing here. On today's episode, I really want also to start to have self-awareness so we can detect the shaft from the wit. I'm going to be sharing a different video with you. In your mind, you think that serving God is just going to the church. No, it's much more deeper than that. When you can help someone else, you are doing what God asks us to do. And you don't need any pastor to do that. You can do it on your own. So hold on for this together. Yes, about tradition. I'm from Monsoka, about Ikauji. Mm -hmm. I've not seen my child for nine months because of Ikauji. 
Oh, yes. Ikauchi. Ikauchi is a tradition mm. that a woman that is legally, legally married mm -hmm. committed adultery. And you have to go and do cleansing and sacrifice before you can go back to that man. And now, he, uh, uh, my man is saying, I have to go and do sacrifice and cleansing then 2015, which I said I cannot do because what he was claiming, that infidelity, that I slept with men, no evidence, nothing. And I knew even between man and God, I never did it. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going to do that. And because of it, he said, if I set my eyes on my child, that that child will die. Or if this child eat biscuit from me, that that child will die. Is a kid that have created a hole in my heart, my ordinary. If not because of your words of wisdom, your encouragement, in fact, your your morning shower that I call breakfast. Honestly, I would have died because I know what God has done for me. Your words of wisdom had really re re reshaped me. It has redefined me and re redesigned me my ordinary president a lot of things had happened mm -hmm. but i all i am crying for is peace let me even set my eyes on this child the child was 10 years on 13th of this month i have not set how many my eyes on you get? sir how many children it's just only that one sir who go tell your husband say you did sleep with me i don't know that time if he comes by that's how you'll be quarreling me even in the police station that this case because this case gone very high in police station mm -hmm. even in a where we live then giri outpost and guagolada the dpo and dco then they are very full aware of this case even fct come even who says on three police station a lot of places yes so but no evidence what he told O.C. Sugarba then, Jeremiah, at the old outpost, Giri, was that in his dream that he saw himself dragging me on a mat with a black man. Yes, because there was a man he was accusing, a man that helped me and borrowed me money just for me to give him so that he can travel. He claimed he was going, that they had uh, this uh, family matter, like to share. I would just like to pause it there. The reason why I'm sharing all of this with you guys is for you to know that things are happening in people's life and people are actually looking for who to speak to. According to this lady, she never did any of those kind of things that they accuse her of, the husband. If she was even having a good person to speak with, since 2015, do you know the pains of a mother to know to have seen her own child? all because of tradition accusing her of something she said she didn't do allegedly right accusing her of something that he saw in his dream in his dream how do you reconcile that with women in nigerian society from the way this lady is talking she's educated to some extent right we need to create awareness. People need to start loosening up their mind. Now she went to break at the show and she's going to find justice. She is going to find justice from everything that I have watched from Berkete. I have seen that how he's actually doing the work of God, touching people's lives. People that truly need help go there and they find it. On today's episode, let us have self-awareness and never be, you know, put in a box, in a cocoon by someone else believes. I want us to be self-expressive. I want you to find out things by yourself so you don't box up yourself based on what someone else is saying. I hope this creating awareness that I've been doing since... 2018 has touched one or two lives and i want you to continue to believe in yourself when you hear people are doing philanthropies in nigeria you want to wonder what is it that they are really doing for people i'm going to share another uh update with you here these are what people use money for 
That's how you touch people's lives. So this lady gave one billion dollars. You heard me. One billion dollars as a gift to a medical school. To a medical school. So there are many people. People she doesn't she doesn't have to know them. She gave one billion dollars to a medical That starting in August this year, the Albert Einstein College of Medicine will be tuition free. <laughs> school here in the US in the Bronx as a donation so this is what people do here in developed world especially here in the US all these many schools that you see all these many public school it's not only government that is funding them it is people like this lady that have funded them so when people say they are rich in Nigeria and they are not able to impact people's lives, what kind of riches is that? So do you think she should not have opened her own school? But that's not how it works. You donate to schools that are already existing. On today's episode, I hope people will be inspired to do good for others. Even last year, one of the schools that my son is attending, one person donated $600 million. $600 million to that school. One person. So this is how it's been done. So when people have money in Nigeria and they don't do good for people and you that is poor and they don't do good for people and you that is poor continue to pour into their own uh, establishment. The country is not going to move forward. So, and that's why I'm telling my viewers that you don't need to take those money to the church. Take that money and bless people who need it the most. Because I'm not doing that. I use my money in my organizations and I bless people directly. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. I want to thank you all for listening. Take care now and bye for now.